pregame.com. Steelers plus four at Houston Texans. All right, Marco, you're the Pittsburgh expert, so I'm going to be counterpunching here with my pick. I think first thing that jumps out at me, this is a rare occasion that both the early money's against Pittsburgh. I mean, in the last two-plus seasons, I can count on one hand, I think, the amount of times the early money's been against Pittsburgh. This line opened up a three. It's gone off that key number all the way to four. And number two, this is a rare time, and I think, again, we'll count in one hand here. I'm going to actually go check this out and put it up on my Twitter, in which they're saying the team is better than the Steelers because home field's three. Mm -hmm. Now, let's not forget, just a couple of weeks ago, Pittsburgh was pick em at Baltimore, which means that they were considered three points better than Baltimore. And now, after a 2 and one start, admittingly against some really bad competition, You've got Pittsburgh that's a lesser team than the Houston Texans. What do you think about that? Well, there's no question. I mean, the Sunday night game is what's fueling us. People are looking at, you know, Indianapolis was such, you know, so bad without Peyton Manning. That's all we heard about. And Pittsburgh went in there and was life and death with them. I mean. Yeah, but you, how many, th you, uh, what, let me ask you, th you play that game this week. We go back in the time machine. What do you make that number? play again well if the number's probably going to come out the same that it was which but means, the, so then what, what what was what was discovered from that game then well what's discovered is this is what we always talk about people handicap with their eyes and uh, only so you're what they saying see. it's deceiving that it was such a close game it's deceiving because what happened is pittsburgh took them for granted for one indianapolis rose to the occasion because they're is that what you saw in that game I saw Pittsburgh dominate in the game, and I saw Big Ben seemingly cannot not turn the ball over four times a game. <laughs> and, and one of those is return for, I mean, Pittsburgh, at a certain point in that game, it looked like Pittsburgh could name the score. When they started the game, they come right out 10 nothing. It looked like it was going to be a blowout, and then they got complacent, in my opinion. The offensive line problems, I mean. Well, now that's different, and, and that's a valid point is that there are some serious injuries. First of all, that O-line is in trouble healthy. And I tell you, I've been the one last year, I was on, I won like eight straight Steeler bets, and I was right here on video talking about every one of them. I had such a handle on that team last year. And the whole time I kept saying, this O-line is better than people think. This O-line is better than people think. I don't think that this year. I think that, that the uh, hotel, Flozell as they call them, was a heck of a right tackle for them last year. And I think that in general, that what's happened now with that line is injured or not injured, they have one of the worst five or six lines in the league. And, and I think it's hard to win with a line like that. Well, I, I agree with you 100%. And you, you ha I think you've had a little bit of a chance because if you remember in the preseason when they made the cuts for the salary cap, I said, what are they doing? This, their offensive line has been thin the last couple of years because they always, they've, somebody always gets injured on this offensive line. I, I don't know why. I it mean, seems like we get more than anybody else because we run so much. I, I don't know if they're getting cut blocks, uh, you know, different things. Uh, these guys get hurt. But the Steelers, for the last several years, that's been our Achilles heel. Well, here's the difference, though. I thought Flozell, early in the season, I thought Flozell for Willie Cologne was an upgrade for us. Cologne is, is, was, is, was one of our best linemen, certainly number two behind Pouncey. Mm -hmm. And Scott at left tackle played well in the second half of the year. You know, this year Scott's not playing so He's well. And now we've got, you know, a second round draft choice that they did, do not want playing right tackle playing right tackle right now. So if you take your second best lineman and replace him with a rookie, and then you take your left tackle and say he's down 20%, that's a big difference. And that's what that's the difference we're seeing right now. All right, so all that said, I think the key factor in this game is that the Steelers, with their defense, is very susceptible against an elite passer. The real question is, is Schaub an elite passer? When you talk about the big six, and this is something that ESPN has been talking about a lot, I think Dilfer is the one that kind of coined this, with Big Ben being the sixth guy, 
it, you know, they don't include Schaub in there. Personally, I think if you're talking about taking a guy to a Super Bowl, a team to a Super Bowl, you might be right. Schaub isn't in there. Mm. But if it's just about put up 450 yards against a leaky secondary, I think he's right there. And I think that, that Houston is going to score a ton of points. And if Pittsburgh is going to be in this game, it's going to be about them scoring with them. Because quite frankly, even with that offensive line, with their receivers, if Big Ben has a good game, they can, they can be right there in a shootout. Do you think Schaub is a guy that can expose that defense? Well, I'm going to answer your question with a question. Straight up, who's got a better defense, Steelers or New Orleans? Well, I would think Pittsburgh. Last week, and I watched every down of the Houston-New Orleans games because I had a play on that game, um, Schaub, they stalled and settled for field goals, and that's what cost them their game last week against New Orleans. At the beginning of the game, they were going up and down the field between the 20s on New Orleans and settled for three field goals that come back to haunt them. And one of the touchdowns in the fourth quarter that they did get should have been an interception that got tipped, and it got, went to the second receiver that was behind the play, got it and ran it in for a touchdown. So that scores a little misleading last week with Houston. So, and that's the thing about Pittsburgh. This is a team that, that I really dig into. I'm a huge fan. Their cornerback, McFadden's missed two of the three games. He's their second quarterback. Cornerback. Will, William Gay, who is a good, a decent nickelback, let's call him average, is not a good corner playing on the outside. It hasn't been exposed against, I mean, Pittsburgh has really played Seattle and Indy are two of the five worst teams in the league, no doubt about it. I think that um, on the odds makers poll, they have uh, Indianapolis as the fourth worst team and Seattle is the uh, second worst, if I'm not mistaken. But they're bo all, both they're in the bad. top five. <laughs> and neither of the qu them had quarterbacks of any note. Is William Gay was out there playing just fine. Well. Clearly, it's a different situation here. I think that it's got to be, I think it's deceiving that Pittsburgh's 2-1. and one. I think the line being 4 here shows you that. If this line was 3, I would have a best bet on Houston. I'd be digging in for one of my bigger bets of the year. It's hard for me to lay 4 at this point. But given my official pick here, I do like Houston here. I'm going to project 30-24. to 24, So I lean over. I lean Houston, but at four, I'm not crazy about it. If somehow, some way, there's a, a bet back and I can lay three on Sunday, I'll be doing it. Any closing thoughts? Uh, I've got no opinion on the game at this point. I'm going to wait till later in the week and see the Friday um, practices and see just how healthy the offensive line is. I'm not sure out. it matters. I, I, I mean, I think the first string, second string, they're about the same at this point, which is a sad state. <laughs> but for depth, you're right, because you get another injury and then you have big trouble. All right, guys, your turn to continue the conversation in the comments section. And next up, Marco and I will be breaking down Monday Night Football.